Hi. Today we are going to walk through the process of changing the insect screen on a Dometic Caravan window blind. We will also take a look at how you can improve the way the privacy and insect screens slide and connect together. The first step is to decide the type of screen you want to replace it with. I'm using black fiberglass insect mesh because it's economical, it looks good and it's easy to work with. You should also make sure you have the right tools available for the job as shown. To begin, use a small screwdriver and remove the plastic screw covers. Once these are out, unscrew the screws and remove the blind assembly. Place the blind assembly on a bench and carefully remove the clamps holding the two guide rails in place. This can be done by levering them off with a screwdriver. Remove and, if necessary, clean the guide rails. Next you will need to remove the spring-loaded roller. One end is secure with two small screws. The other has a spring-loaded shaft that fits into a slot on the frame. Undo the two small screws and carefully remove the rod from the slot. Be aware the rod is under tension and will unwind when it is removed. You can make this easier by clamping the rod with a set of vice grips and holding it while you remove it. Remove the roller with the screen attached. Now place the screen on the bench and remove the two plastic guides on the end of the aluminium strip. This can be achieved by carefully levering them off with a screwdriver. Slide the screen out of the guide. Remove the round metal spring loaded roller in the same manner. Simply remove the small plastic end cap and slide the screen out. With the screen on the bench you will see two round plastic rods stitched into the end of the mesh. Remove these, they will simply slide out. Use the old screen as a template and cut a new screen being very careful to ensure you allow at least 8cm extra in length. You want the new screen to be the same width as the old screen but a good 8cm longer to allow for easy fitment. Now you can install the new screen into the roller and aluminium locking strip. There's a few options for installing the plastic strips into the new screen. You can stitch them in or leave them unstitched and apply a thin bead of hot glue or silicon once it has been installed in the aluminium strip. You don't need to seal the screen around the strip on the roller because friction will keep it in place. If you choose not to stitch the rods in place, carefully fold the screen mesh over the plastic rod and slide it onto the roller and locking strip in the same way you remove the old screen. Allow at least one or two centimetres overlap. You can trim this off later. If it's too tight to get the mesh into the slot on the roller, open the slot a little wider using a screwdriver. You can use a small file or emery paper to smooth it off. This is the hardest part of the job, so take care to get it nice and tidy. Once you've installed the screen, roll it up on the roller to make sure it rolls straight and true. If it runs offset, spend time to straighten it because it needs to run true. If the rods are not stitched in place, once the new screen is installed, run a bead of glue or silicon as shown to ensure it doesn't come apart. Once this is done, you should now have a brand new screen installed in the roller and guide. If you are experiencing trouble getting the old screens to slide and connect together properly, you can now do some housework on the guides to make this easier. First give everything a good clean. Next, take a look at the two guides fitted to the end of the connecting strip on the privacy screen. If these are worn or in any way damaged, you will have trouble getting your screens to click together properly. Do not remove the guides because they provide the locking mechanism that allows the privacy screen to lock in place as it's moved up and down. My own approach was to partially remove the sides of the two slides to ease the way they connect. Uh, this is shown in the photograph. It seems to work quite well, but I don't recommend modifying the guides unless you are sure about what you are doing, because once they are cut, it's not reversible. Once you are happy with the movement of the screens, reassemble everything in reverse order to how it was removed. Thank you for watching this video. Happy caravanning.